Hey guys, today we're going to talk about different types of angles, okay? So there are different ways that we can classify angles. We can classify them by their measurement, um, by how many degrees it actually is, or we can kind of look at it and see what it looks like, and then there's like a general term for that. So the first thing we're going to start with is a 90 degree angle. A 90 degree angle makes, <coughs> sorry, a 90 degree angle makes a perfect corner, okay? So if you look up at your wall, if you look at the corner where, um, you know, one side is going to meet the other, that's a 90 degree angle most of the time if you're looking right in the corner because it's squared off, okay? So this is 90 degrees. This will always be 90 degrees. This is called a right angle, okay? Next, so if we have an angle that measures more than 90 degrees, so here's 90 degrees, and if I measure more than 90 degrees, we call this an obtuse angle. Obtuse, it is bigger than 90 degrees. So even here, this is just a teeny bit bigger than 90 degrees, but even that's an obtuse. So all of these are obtuse angles, okay? And our last one, for this part that we're going to talk about is an acute angle. So I always think about it like this. Oh, look at the cute little angle for acute. Okay. Acute is less than 90 degrees. So that's why I say cute little angle. So less than 90 degrees is acute. Even if it's 89 degrees, it's still an acute angle. Okay. So look at that cute little angle. It's little. It's less than 90 degrees. Okay, um, next we're going to talk about some other terms, okay? So I already said that 90 degrees is considered a right triangle, okay? Now we have a straight, or I'm sorry, a right angle. So here, if I put these two together like this, this is what I would call a straight angle. Obviously, it's a straight line. So I would call this a straight angle. A straight angle always equals 180 degrees. Here's 90. If I added another 90, I get a straight line. So 90 plus 90 is 180. This is what we call a straight angle. Always 180 degrees. Always. Now, if we have anything that's more than 180 degrees, say if I'm measuring from here, all the way around to down here. This is called a reflex angle, okay? So I'm starting here, I'm measuring all the way around till I get to here. This is a reflex angle. Reflex angles are greater than 180 degrees. Now here's an interesting thought. If this is 180 degrees, a straight line, if I start here and I want to go all the way around to complete, make a circle, so I'd go all the way around, how many degrees would that be? Well, here's 90, 180, then if I add another 90, that would be 270. If I add another 90 to get all the way around, I'd get 360 degrees. So a circle or a circle angle is 360 degrees. That's also sometimes called a full angle, okay? So if you have any questions about that, let me know. Let's do a quick review. 90 degrees, right angle. Anything less than 90 degrees is an acute little angle. Greater than 90 degrees is obtuse. This is called a straight angle, which measures 180 degrees. Anything more than 180 degrees is a reflex angle, which, um, like I said, is bigger than 180 degrees. And then we have um, a whole circle. A circle angle is 360 degrees. All right, if you have any questions, ask your teacher.